This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at naming alkenes. So we'll start with an introduction to alkenes. Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons, which means they contain carbon to carbon double bonds. They have the general formula CnH2n. Alkenes are more reactive than the alkanes for two reasons. The first is that the electron density of the carbon to carbon double bond attracts electrophiles. The second is that the pi bond of the carbon to carbon double bond is weaker than the sigma bond. Alkenes undergo electrophilic addition reactions. These are covered in more detail in a later video. When naming alkenes, the first step is to count the longest carbon chain that contains the carbon to carbon double bond. This gives the root or the stem of the name. Next, the suffix "-ene", is attached to the stem. So the first example on the left with two carbon atoms is named ethene. Our next example with three carbon atoms is named propene. Once we get to four or more carbon atoms, there's more than one position for the carbon to carbon double bond. In this example, the carbon to carbon double bond is between carbon number one and carbon number two. When numbering the carbon atoms, the position of the carbon to carbon double bond is given the lowest possible number. So this example is named butuanine. If the carbon to carbon double bond is located between carbon number two and carbon number three, the name is butuene. Butuanine and butuene are structural isomers. They have the same molecular formula, which is C4H8, but different structural formulas. Butuanine has the carbon to carbon double bond between carbon number one and carbon number two. And butuene has the carbon to carbon double bond between carbon number two and carbon number three. It should be noted that but3ene does not exist. Instead, it is named butuanine. Our next example has five carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. On the left, the carbon to carbon double bond is between carbon number one and carbon number two. Therefore, it is named pent-1-ene. The example on the right has the carbon to carbon double bond between carbon number two and carbon number three. Therefore, it is named pent-2-ene. Note that pent-3-ene does not exist. Instead, it is named pent-2-ene. Next, we look at alkenes with six carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain. Starting with the molecule on the left, the carbon to carbon double bond is between carbon number one and carbon number two. In the molecule on the right, the carbon to carbon double bond is located between carbon number two and carbon number three. And in the third example, the carbon to carbon double bond is located between carbon number three and carbon number four. So they are named hex-1-ene, hex-2-ene, and hex-3-ene. Once again, note that hex-4-ene does not exist. Instead, it is named hex-2-ene. So that's all from this video. In the next video on naming organic compounds, we look at naming the alkynes.